Hello friends, this video on triangles part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1. Here we have to tell whether it is similar or not. So if you remember what I have told, for two objects to be singular, one thing is angles corresponding should be equal and second thing is corresponding side should be proportional corresponding side proportional proportional right so what how we'll do we'll check the angles are equal or not if you see this is 90 this is 90 so these are equal 90 90 corresponding angles equal 90 90 corresponding angle all the corresponding angle is equal first condition is met second condition is corresponding side has to be proportional so i'll say ad by ps i'll find i have to prove that ad by ps right should be equal to let's take this side dc by sr and this should be equal to cb by rq cb by rq and this should be equal to ab by D. please understand what i am doing here i am just comparing the corresponding sides when i am taking ad here i am taking ps here so i am saying ad by ps when I am taking DC here, I am taking SR here because this is SR corresponding sides. When I am taking CB here, I am taking RQ here. When I am taking AB here again, I am taking P. If this is true, if true, if this is true, then this two figure are similar, else not. Let's try to prove if they are true or not. So what is AD? AD is 3. PS is 3. So this becomes 3 by 3 actually. Right here. DC by SR. DC is 3. SR is 3.5. CB is. What is CB? CB is 3. RQ is 3. AB is 3. PQ is 3.5. So if you see these are not equal. Because 3 by 3 is not equal to 3 by 3.5. 3 by 3, 3 by 3, This is also not equal. They are not equal actually. Even if one is unequal, that means it is gone. So they are not equal. So we can see that not similar. Why? Because the second condition failed. The second condition said that all the corresponding side has to be similar, has to be proportional. And we found that the corresponding sides are not proportional. So in this case, it is not similar. Correct? We will take one more example. So we have to again prove that, find that it is similar or not. Correct. This is 90. This is 90. All are 90 here actually. And the different sides. So again there are two conditions. First is a light once again corresponding angle should be equal and the second is corresponding side has to be proportional right also proportional the signal so first is corresponding angle has to be equal that is d should be equal to a one any of the angle so if you, but if you see right d is 90 and none of the angle is 90 this angle is 90 plus and this angle is 90 minus going by the figure only we can say that this is not 90 since the first condition itself is failing we can say that this is not simple but here if you see right the sides are proportional if you see this is 2.1 by 4.2 this is 1 by 2 okay now i'll do that Let's suppose we'll, we'll assume this has to be side 1, this has to be side 1. 
So we'll compare like this. This is side two, side two, side three, side three, and side four. So, so if you compare, what you get? AD by PS. Side two comparison is DC by SR. CB is CB by QR. And this is AB by PP. Right? So this becomes 2.1 by 4.2. This is also 2.1 by 4.2. This is also 2.1 by 4.2. And this is also 2.1 by 4.2. So if you see the side are proportional, but still it is not similar. Why? Because the first condition is false. So what we have learned that both the condition that is corresponding angle has to be equal and corresponding side has to be proportional should be equal for two geometrical figures to be similar. And how we have taken 1, 2 and 3, 4? I think the more questions we will solve, you will get the concept clear. Actually, I can take any way. But any one of this has to be true. For similarity of triangle, two triangles are similar if the corresponding sides angles are equal or their corresponding sides are proportional. Please note, this rule is relaxed only in the case of triangle. In case of normal any other polygon, both the condition has to be true. And actually we will prove that because in case of triangles, if one condition is true, the second condition is by default true. So we will not prove the second condition. That is why we have OR here. But in the earlier slides, what we have seen in any geometry, in any polygon, both the condition has to be true. Here also both the condition has to be true, but we will prove that if one condition is true in case of triangle only, the other condition is by default true. So that means if the corresponding angles are equal, by default we will see that corresponding sides are proportional. If we can prove that the corresponding sides are proportional, by default we can prove that corresponding angles are equal only in case of triangle. Please note, this is only in case of triangle. In case of square, rectangle, parallelogram or any other geometrical figure other than triangle, we have to prove both the condition that corresponding sides are equal and corresponding sides, uh, angles are equal and corresponding sides are proportional. We will take this example, this triangle. If you see this triangle, if these two triangles are to be similar, if we can prove that this is angle 1, 2, 3, this is 1 dash, this is 2 dash, this is 2 dash. If you can prove that angle 1 is equal to angle 1 dash and angle 2 is equal to angle 2 dash and angle 3 is equal to angle 3 dash, this itself is more than sufficient for me to prove that both the angles are similar. Or let's suppose this is side one. This is this is side one. Let's suppose this is side two. And this is side three. Correct. This also let's suppose side one dash. This is side two dash. This is side three dash. This is the length I'm telling. So if I can prove that one by one dash is equal to two by two dash is equal to three by three dash, that itself is more than sufficient for me to prove that these two triangles are similar. So here OR is used. If I can prove this or I can prove this, any of the condition holds true. Correct? So just to repeat, both are same thing. I have to prove only one of these. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.